Congratulations player, you are one step closer to becoming a big dick player. From White Dad Two Step, learn to kitchen shuffle in two weeks. Using only two steps, practicing each step for five minutes each day. Those steps are the running man, the side shuffle. You will also learn how to easily put the two steps together. There are no real arm movements, as this is the kitchen shuffle. You need your arms and hands free for those kitchen tasks. This tutorial is mostly aimed at the middle-aged player, although if you were born female, black dude, gay lord, you may find your physical skill levels currently exceed those offered in this video. Gay. All three of those bad bitches could be yours. All kinds of gay. There is also evidence that level two is also attainable. So player, let's crack on. Top tips. This is all for you player. Therefore, here are three solid tips to ease you in, <laughs> dirty animal. Slow motion. If you're just not getting it, but you're pretty sure you're not retarded, at the bottom of your screen, you will see an icon that looks like a gear or a cog. Press it. This is where you find the speed option. Slow it down as much as you like. Practice on a smooth, hard surface. Try to avoid sticky gum soles on your footwear. Now that's all been said, let's do it. The Running Man. This is the first basic step you've got to learn. It gives you the rhythm and the timing you need for the kitchen shuffle. And you begin like this, hopping from foot to foot nice and easy notice each foot has four positions one two three four one two three four no problem for you player again one two three four one two three four one, two, three, and four. So, you've done a bit of practice, and now you're ready to increase the speed of those exact same movements. Still hopping, not sliding. You can still make out the four foot positions. Do not try and practice this to a banging dance tune, as it will be too fast and hinder your progress. The final stage is to dial back all movement, expend less energy, and the hop will naturally appear to be a foot slide. Sweet. Let's move on. The basic shuffle. All these demonstration movements are highly exaggerated, so you player can see exactly what to do. No need for music at this early stage. Practice standing on one leg. Pivot on your heel so your toe points inwards. Now pivot on the ball of your foot so the heel now points inwards. Practice this on each leg so you have both directions. Let's show you once again. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, rule. One, when your toe points in, the other knee is up. Rule two, when the heel points in, the foot is down. And this happens on the beat. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Yes. So you have your sidestep basics going on. Let's change direction. It's a simple step forward with the beat leg, not the heel toe leg. Once again, forward, back, back back, forward, back, 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 forward. <laughs> now you're getting somewhere. Practice. 
start using less heel toe movements between the direction change. Until you are at near full autopilot. At this point, again, dial all the movement right back. Take a moment, enjoy the fact you be shuffling. <laughs> Superb. Joining the moves and moving around your kitchen. This is it player, the final stage. You may have already worked it out for yourself. The link between the running man and the side shuffle is the same simple step forward from the last section. Use your running man step forward as the change direction step from the side shuffle. Do this and you're good to go. Yes, it really is that easy. Now you have two weeks to practice for 10 minutes total each day, roughly about two good tunes. Sweet beans, player, sweet beans. Now all that's left, use the kitchen shuffle to move around your kitchen. It's perfect for when you're washing the dishes messing about with open flame, covering vast distances with ease, handling razor sharp kitchen equipment, chop, 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 <laughs> maybe not that, or even just staring into your fridge with the wild munchies. It's all up to you player, it's your kitchen and it's your storyline. You done changed the game, player. Effortless, big dog. Effortless. I hope you noticed some interesting things over the last two weeks about the control you have over your meat suit and how it automatically takes over after a period of time. But your meat suit, that's you, right? Maybe. But that's a different video file. At the end of the day, it's all about you and how you play the game. Try your utmost not to be a spillner. So, until next time, tatty poops. <laughs> whoop, whoop. just the body and working out I'm helping people with their financial future you know with their 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 success you know what road they take as far as you know um, um, you know what direction they're gonna go you know in life and that feels great so uh, I'm gonna eat this meal it's gonna take me about two fucking minutes and then I'm coming right back at you to talk about some financial shit so uh...